Hey guys, it's Mike Drudge coming to you from the VRV family of companies. Boy, oh happy day, it's 2024 time. I've got 2024 Jayco's showing up on the lot and I'm excited to show them off to you. Lots of exciting new changes, some familiar things hold over from last year, but a lot of new stuff I can't wait to show you. So come join me. Hey, I'd love to show off three of my favorite enhancements in 2024 on the J-Flight line. Now, the enclosed underbelly has been a thing for years, but now it receives heat. So every time the furnace kicks on, there's heat being thrown into the underbelly. I love that. The next thing is the flooring. Very residential looking, and it's got a little bit of cushion to it. Very comfortable, very classy. And finally, this might be my favorite one of all. Finally, there's a medicine cabinet and a 264BH. Thank you, Jayco. Boy, so now we're on the inside of this 264. We're in a 2024. There's a number of really cool changes. I'll point them out as we go through the tour. One thing, if you've been shopping Jayco's and, and J Flights in particular, you'll notice some differences in decor. The modern farmhouse has been something that's been popular with Jayco for a couple years now, and they've sort of enhanced it a little bit. They're calling this classic farmhouse instead of modern farmhouse, it's classic. So uh, it's sort of a shaker style cabinet door and drawers. And then you'll notice there's a combination of white as well as some gray or grayish, I should say, over here in the dinette but it's really bright and also when we get up into the bedroom you'll notice that it's brighter up there because it's all this sort of white-ish color it's really a brightens up the interior here's another change updated backsplash so i'm always impressed um, again i had to lay my fingers to this to make sure it wasn't actual tile as a 3d look to it it's smooth easy to wipe off and easy to clean but it looks like ceramic tile even though it's not so very classy here's another change finally you get a cutting board slash sink cover in a j flight used to be so you could buy these later uh, for units you bought in the past but now it comes with a cutting board sink cover thank you it's the little things that make a difference and i appreciate that so hey we're in a 264 which is right at 30 feet long so don't mistake that model number to assume that it's 26 feet long. We're at right at 30 feet long. You load this thing up with groceries in the refrigerator and, and, and camping gear and stuff, and you're about 6,000 pounds all loaded up, ready to go camping. So nice thing about this model, and one reason that's made it one of the most popular non-slide bunk houses is that it sleeps a bunch of folks and it's lightweight and it's at a price point that a lot of us can afford so a lot of things going for this 264 and it remains a staple in the lineup of j flight uh, units so while i'm in the middle here i'm just talk about the galley and the dinette area this floor plan is consistent with the 264s you've seen in the past it's just a little bit updated here's another change is this countertop so it's more of a squared off corner. This looks like a slab. It looks like marble. Um, it's a very lightweight material, but it still allows Jayco to do an undermount residential style sink. So it's easy to clean off the countertop when you need to wipe everything in there. Very handy. Got a little bit of storage up here. And of course, as I've said before, solid maple cabinet doors and solid uh, maple drawer fronts. So Jayco's great on their cabinet build. You've got full extension drawer glides here, 75 pound full extension drawer glides and perfect place for the trash can under there. I always ask myself, where's the trash can go? Well, that's probably where it's gonna go right there. So I appreciate having this. We have a little microwave big enough to warm up leftovers and you know, do popcorn and so on. I have a vented range hood that is lighted as well. So you're frying bacon, get that heat and get the smells out of here. This folds back to be your backsplash and this removes easily for cleaning on your three burner propane cooktop and you can see it's got uh, backlit controls right here so up is just these controls down turns on the light inside the oven this is a little oven but hey a lot of rvs these days aren't even including ovens at all so now you have an oven big enough for pizzas pot pies and cookies for sure so you can still bake cookies and stuff like that in there and then you do have a little more storage under here 
as well. High rise faucet right here and uh, a lot of people ask why do they put these old mini blinds here I assume it's a code thing this will always be in locations close to your range that would be more flammable than this so it's a safety thing Jayco's always been over the top conscious about safety issues whether it's seat belts in their drivable ones or the quality of steps getting in and out of the coach always always very safety conscious also this is hanging here it reminds me to point out Stacy Stewart is the designer here. A lot of people say, well, why don't they let women design these things? Well, Stacy is, and she's also an RVer. So, and it shows, there's a lot of practical uh, appointments to this um, that I appreciate from Stacy. So here's our dinette, just like it's been in the past, you get two posts here that pop out, this drops down, and then this becomes a sleeping surface. I did a separate video, which we'll link to, you can go check it out where I convert all these dinettes into a sleeping surface. So go ahead and check out that video. I also do a whole series of how-to videos. It's called RV Quick Tips with Mike. If this is your first venture into RVing, it probably would be helpful to go spend a little time on those videos. I talk about, you know, f filling your fresh water and hooking up to electricity and really exciting things like the top three things to do with number one and number two on your holding tank. So really fun stuff. Go check those out too. So anyway, we have a sleeping surface here. So how many does this sleep? Well, I can sleep one, maybe two small humans there. I have double bunks up here. So two, four, six, eight on the bed up front and then nine on the little jackknife sofa right there in front of you where you're looking at. So yeah, <clears throat> I can sleep a bunch of people in here comfortably. Now, since we're talking about sleeping, let's go ahead and talk about the bunk area. So when we talk about bunks in Jayco's terms, a double bunk means how many each one will sleep. It's wide, it's a double bunk wide. So two folks and two adults can sleep up here. Two can sleep down here, 600 pounds up, 600 pounds down. Now you may say, well, I'm not going to put 600 pounds. I don't weigh that much. Oh, fair enough. But it just is a testament to Jayco's build quality that they're building these strong enough that, hey, two adults can sleep both up and down. Nice, thick, four inch thick cushions. A lot of times on this price point, you'll look at other manufacturing as really a skinny mattress and you know your hips out of joint by the time you wake up in the next morning got lights in each one of these and then under here got piano hinges and this hinges up to reveal storage down there which of course we can access from the patio side and i'll show that to you when we go outside real handy now 12 volt fridges across the board on the j flights no more gas electric. These are 12 volt refrigerators, which I love <clears throat> mostly because they're larger. Also, this works just like a residential refrigerator. <clears throat> so when you plug it in, you're able to freeze things in this freezer compartment in a couple hours. You're making ice cubes. You can put your ice cream in there with a regular gas absorption fridge. You're having to plug it in the night before to get it down to temperature where you can put all your stuff in. This really is nice. It's running off 12 volts all the time. So when you're going down the road, it's happy. <clears throat> you can drive this thing coast to coast and your charge line from your vehicle is keeping your batteries happy, sending 12 volt power to this. So all good. I love that we finally have a medicine cabinet here. For years and years and years, the 264, as popular as it was, no medicine cabinet here. Now we have one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I would have put one in myself if they didn't provide one. But hey, you got to have a place for the toothbrushes and stuff. And now you do. A little more storage underneath here as well. Of course, I have household power right here for the hair dryers for people that need things like that. I don't. People do. All right, going into the bathroom. We have a tub shower combo. So this has proved to be popular since oftentimes it's families that are using these and they want to give the little humans a bath and you can do that in here. You can also step up in here and uh, have plenty of room as an adult <clears throat> to take a shower. Let's talk about height. I'm six feet tall. There's a skylight here so I could be six five and still have plenty of room to take a shower in here. The overall height 
on the floor to the ceiling in this coach is 6'9". So that's a superior thing with Jayco. A lot of other brands are going to top out around 6'2", 6'3". Jayco is 6'9". So tall folks, don't have to worry about cracking your noggin on the inside of this. <clears throat> shower wand here, one piece shower surround. So you don't have to worry about seams in the corner and leaking like this. It's really nice. Here's another thing that Jayco does is they reinforce the base of all shower and tub bases. So there's three quarter inch tongue and groove plywood. Get in here and do this. All right. It's not giving at all. You don't want these plumbing connections to be taxed by stepping in and out of here. That could be a leak that could be happening for years and years before you ever notice it. Jayco, you wouldn't know that if nobody told you. So it's reinforced and I appreciate one of those things that you can't see in a Jayco that really makes a difference in the quality. Actually, there's a lot of things you can't see in a Jayco that make a difference in the quality. One of them is the truss roof system. Instead of just furring strips across the top, it's an actual truss system. So, hey, 4,500 pound weight rating far exceeds the competition. So there's a lot of pictures out there on the internet where RVs have been parked in the path of a storm and a tree comes down and lands on a Jayco and the structure is still intact because it's that strong. I don't usually post those, they're kind of scary stories, but hey, the thing is, is um, that means you might be calling State Farm and not 911. So if safety is important, and it is to most of us, I appreciate it. It takes more expense, it it's, takes more stock to put up into the roofing system, but it's stronger because of it. Right here inside the uh, bathroom wall is our suburban uh, water heater control. I'm going to show that to you outside, but it's tankless water heater. So now instead of gas electric, it's tankless water heater. It's on demand. So you can take those long showers and not run out of water like you would in a six gallon, uh, typical six gallon water heater. So very nice. A lot of neat, uh, upgrades. Um, now this unit, as I mentioned, um, is about 30 feet long. We have an auto detect um, converter, charger converter down here. Now you've got your <clears throat> alternating current, your AC current and your fuses, as well as your breakers over here. I should say direct current fuses and AC uh, breakers. But down here, it's an auto detect. So if you end up upgrading to lithium batteries, this will automatically uh, sense that. You don't have to make any changes to that used to be you had to change your charger if you upgraded to lithium. So whatever kind of batteries you put in here, you're good to go with this charger controller. So very nice, I like that. So I do have a little bit of storage above the dinette here with smoked glass inserts. This is open in here so I can put longer items through in there if I need to do that. Small little Insignia brand TV here that is easily removed from here with this little deal right here. And I can pop this off and take this TV and put it on the patio. There's also another mount. It's called a key block mount that I can get another TV, have it in the bedroom and let it float between the bedroom and the patio. So wherever you want a TV, you can have it and it's easy to remove. I do have a Bluetooth um, stereo here so I can push music through the speakers uh, in the ceiling and I can push music uh, through the speakers on the patio as well. So very nice. Now I'm going to move up here and show off this little jackknife sofa. So this would be another sleeping position as well. It's super easy to change into a sleeper. You just lift up and boom, like that. Heck, I'd sleep there. Um, so very nice. I'm six feet tall, so keep my feet off of there. Yeah, I'd sleep on there. If you got kids, teenagers, certainly plenty big enough to sleep on there. And then there is a little bit of storage under here too, as well. And you can see our furnace duct coming out from under that side of the seat there as well. So of course we have propane heat, electric air conditioner. Now I have solar on this unit. The Overlander One solar 
uh, package is standard on the J flight. So we have 200 watts of solar up on top of a solar charge controller, which is on the wall over here. So think of that as a trickle charger for your battery. Um, a lot of people hear solar and think, great, we can go off grid and stay for a long time and run everything. No, you can't. <laughs> so, but it does help extend the amount of time that you can camp off grid without another source of power. Now your batteries, your 12 volt system is not going to run this air conditioner. It's not going to run the microwave, but it is going to keep that refrigerator going. It's going to keep the lights on going to keep the vent fans going, going to keep your furnace fan blower going. So a lot of systems that rely on 12 volt power benefit from having solar on board. So we should do a separate video about that at some point. Right inside the door we have some important switches, our light switches for the interior as well as the patio, and then our awning in and out toggle switch. And then up here is uh, where you're going to check your tank levels for black, gray, fresh water. And then our water pump on and off. You want to make sure that's off. If you don't have any water in the unit yet, you'll burn up that pump. So important to familiarize with yourself with that. There's USB charging ports uh, in convenient places as well. So I've got USB right here behind the dinette. Um, pointing out everything and these are consistent with years past if you've seen some of my videos this will be duplicate but there's another safety feature down here it's a carbon monoxide and propane gas detector these are historically and notoriously sensitive so if you get a dog curled up here taking a nap and uh, doing what dogs do <laughs> <laughs> he can maybe set that off if he's breathing too heavy on it or passing gas or something, but they're really sensitive. Hairspray will set them off, a lot of things, but it's for your benefit in case it does sense carbon monoxide or propane. So now in the bedroom, look how bright this is. That's the thing that I noticed immediately. It used to be all this down here was dark, 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 even though we had farmhouse decor in the past. So that's a change in 2024. Also, these uh, valances. Is it valance or valance? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I've always said valance. This is new and updated in 2024. But look how bright this is. And also, this updated uh, paneling back here is really nice and, and fits in nicely with the farmhouse decor. So, this is a queen bed. I've got storage here for hanging clothes on either side open this up so you can see. So I have shelves there and then a closet rod over here for hanging clothes, which is real handy. Right here is our solar charge controller that I was referring to. So this is how you're going to monitor your charge status for your batteries. On either side of the bed, we have um, regular 110 outlets. So if you do have a CPAP machine, or what have you, you will have power and you can charge your gadgets and there's plenty of room on either side for a bottle of water, reading material, and that kind of thing. Now if you do want to add a TV, here's the place to do it and it's reinforced behind there. It's really solid. So this is the mounting bracket location. I've got my coax and my power supply right here. So Again, uh, we provide a separate little TV mount bracket th so that your TV can float between here and outside if you want to do that. Now underneath the bed, there is storage. Lift this up and there's gas struts that lift it up pretty much automatically. It used to be this was open to the front. Now it's all dressed out and clean, so I have, I'm not sharing this space with the pass-through area up front which again, I'll point out in just a little bit. But this is really sturdy, nice little storage area. The, the one thing that I still wish for and I might uh, do if this was my unit is cut this open and put, put a door or just an open space to put a container in there, a clear plastic tub or a wicker basket that I could pull out and put shoes and blankets and stuff like that. But it's not hard to do this either. But if somebody was laying on the bed, of course, you couldn't do that. But I appreciate that Jayco puts these struts on here. They're really, really stout struts. So this isn't going to come down and knock you in the, in the head. And when you're shopping around, and you should, Here's one thing you want to do. 
lift up the mattress and whatever unit you're looking at, whatever brand you're looking at, and see what you see. In Jayco's case, you're always going to see plywood. They're a plywood-based builder. There's plywood under my feet, there's plywood under this bed, and there's plywood up in the roof structure. Plywood is more expensive, it's stronger, and it doesn't off-gas like particle board or OSB. Jayco has, uh, uh, for a long, a lot, a lot of years, decided to go with plywood. It costs a few more bucks, but you're the beneficiary of it. So when you're shopping around, that's another thing that you may not see or may not think to look at. Um, it's, a lot, it's the hidden things that sometimes matter the most. So I always like to point that out. And uh, pointing out the warranty, the two plus three warranty. So you'll see three year warranties a lot out on the marketplace, three years structural. That means the frame's not gonna fall apart or whatever. Just about every manufacturer does that. But they usually do a one year limited warranty on all the rest of the stuff. All the build quality, the way the cabinets are put together and the drawers and, and all that kind of stuff. Jayco does too. So it's twice the warranty, two full camping seasons. So take it out, run it through its paces for the first camping season, go out the next camping season, use it. If something's going to need adjusting or fixing, it's probably going to happen in that 24 month period. It may not happen in that first year, but in Jayco's case, you're covered even for the second year. I can have a little extra privacy here. This is a Velcroed curtain. Close this so mom and dad can have their privacy. Velcro this back. So what do you think? Are you liking this? Let me know what you think. It's a popular unit. Um, in all the Jayco J-Flight line, we sell more 264s. In terms of non-slide units, we sell more 264s than other, any other unit, again, because it's lightweight. If you want to move up to a slide version of this, you might say, then you're looking at like a 284, which we're about to do a video on that in just a little bit, too. And then you've got a slide and a lot more elbow room, but you've also got more weight, more length, and more dollars. So. Um, whatever, whatever works for you, Jayco does a nice job of uh, designing uh, uh, units for you. So we got a 15K AC unit up on top. Here's our safety smoke detector right here. You see our ducted AC vents around, so I'm blowing real cold air in the bedroom here. It's distributing that cold air throughout the coach and keeping it really comfortable in here. So enough of the inside, let's go outside because there's some cool new stuff on the outside I want to point out too, so follow me. Okay, now to the outside of this 264. We still have our solid steps out here, which I love. Big improvement over the steel steps that just hang in midair. These make firm contact to the ground and they're real easy to adjust. So if you're on uneven ground, just pull out on this little tab with the yellow collar and adjust the legs and they'll lock into place. So if you're on uneven ground, you still don't get any wobbling. And if you're going in and out, somebody's up there still trying to sleep in on a Saturday morning, you're not transferring motion to the rest of the coach, even with the stabilizer jacks down. Speaking of stabilizer jacks, these have the rock solid stabilizer system jacks on them. <clears throat> These are not levelers, they're stabilizing jacks. These are really great. Um, there's a separate video on best practices with this, but they deploy really quickly, and most importantly, they're more rigid and more stable than the old scissors style jacks. So once those things are down, there's very little movement being transferred on the inside. Still have our nice magnet catches on the pass-through doors, and look how nice and clean this storage area is. And there's a light in here now. That's a 2024 change, so we now have a light inside, and it's very clean and trimmed out for, you know, those easy-up tents, bag chairs, fishing poles, and what have you. Now this unit does come with a single burner griddle and I'm going to do a loop around this unit and show you where that goes in what Jayco calls the J-Port system. <clears throat> so very nice. Coming around to the front, got two 20s on your propane, your battery tray back here. It'll come standard with one 12 volt battery. You can upgrade that to two if you want to expand your dry camping capabilities. We do have electric tongue jack that's lighted and powered. 
So this makes hooking and unhooking a breeze and leveling front to back super easy. That's another video I did on leveling your trailer. If you don't have automatic levelers, which you rarely will have with a travel trailer, I did a separate video on leveling and we'll also put a link below uh, for that video as well. Have our di diamond plating in front and then a nice smooth surface in front. Now this was a 2023 change where they went to a smooth front cap instead of corrugated on the side. Makes it easier to clean, a little more aerodynamic and stylish, I think. Opposite side of our pass-through storage, again, magnet catch here, all the way through to the other side. <clears throat> now this is our potable water um, fill and it is gravity so if you're out in the middle of Timbuk nowhere you don't have to have pressurized water to fill up your tank you can just uh, chug in you know a gallon or five gallons of fresh water in here and you're off to the races now best practice I wouldn't keep more than a few gallons in there driving down the road because you're hauling around weight unnecessarily you don't need that extra weight and you just need enough water to wash your hands if you stop have a picnic along the side of the road or perhaps maybe you're going to use the toilet or whatever have a few gallons in there is plenty it's your furnace vent right there that'll get warm <clears throat> we have 30 amp detachable power cord right here so 30 amp service which is going to be the case with all 264s have an outdoor shower hot and cold right here so this is a great place to wash off the dog and the kids and your husband before they go inside the, the camper hot and cold now this is a tank flush not to be conf uh, confused with the potable water fill this is a pressurized tank flush i would keep a separate garden hose any old hose for this use only so what you're going to do at the end of a trip and before you're going to store this unit for a while pop that in there turn it on first make sure your black is open all the way and then let it run and let that water come all the way through here it's going to rinse out the inside of your tank and do a really nice job of keeping the sensors uh, the tank level sensors clean and functioning better it just keeps it cleaner you don't have to do it every trip i would certainly do it before you store it in the fall or if you know you're going to be storing it for a couple months I'd go ahead and run that tank flush out of there we have 39 gallons of gray and black gray is gray black is black so 39 gallons uh, on each side and then a new in 2024 fresh water is 55 gallons so they've upgraded that by about 10 gallons that's a lot of fresh water for a 30 foot trailer but hey you got a family out there uh, you're camping you're at a state park and maybe you don't have water hookups 55 gallons will at least let everybody rinse off a couple times in a weekend right so that's pretty nice cable tv and satellite input so if you have a satellite dish you'd plug it in there if you have cable tv at your campground or resort and many of them do pop it in there and now you have cable tv uh, plumbed through the inside of the unit as well as the patio side as well so real nice all these J flights are prepped for a camera in the back. It's plug and play basically. If you want to add one, it's pretty straightforward to do it. We can do that for you. So <clears throat> it's a Furion camera. You can put a camera there. You can also put a camera on either side up front. So if you really want to have coverage all the way around, you can add those camera packages to, to, uh, to whatever works best for you full-size spare right here mounted with a cover obviously now this will slide to the right or the left in case you wanted to put a bike rack or something back here this does move to the right or the left have a ladder that'll get you up on top and it's good to go up there in the spring and the fall take a look at all those seams and make sure everything's intact and in good shape maybe you're going to give this give the roof uh, a cleaning and check the solar panel it makes it easy to do that <clears throat> it's also easy to hang a bicycle on here I've hung many a bicycle on an RV ladder. So here's that uh, tankless water heater I was telling you about. It's a suburban tankless water heater. So guys, this is great because again, if you got a family, it's one bath or shower after another, this is gonna keep up with those needs. Plus you're doing it, you know, six gallon 
water heater that we've all had many of in the past. Uh, practically every RV I've owned up until the last two had, had a six gallon water heater. Um, yeah, you can take a shower, but after about five minutes or so, six minutes, you're running out of hot water. Not the case here. So really nice to see Jayco doing, doing that, even on uh, basically a price point, let's say entry level travel trailer. Now, how about this? Talk about cavernous storage on the patio side. Good grief, you could put a mattress in there and sleep another little, little kid in there. I'd sleep in there. Lots of clean storage, and that uh, reminds me to point out a couple things because I laid them in here to remind myself. Here's that TV mount. So, on a TV that you would provide, this is a universal mounting bracket, mount it to the back of the TV, and now I can let this TV float between the bedroom and here, the patio, the fun side, as I like to say. So right here's this thing, it's called key block mount. <clears throat> so, pop this thing on here, now I have a TV out here. Just release it with that little tab and I can take the TV back in there. So, nice to have that if you want it and it's provided. This is the platform for your J-Port system. So this arm will fit in this back bumper mounted receiver right there. It's just like a receiver. And then the platform sits on here and then you have your propane quick connect under there. So you're all set up for outdoor cooking and it's very handy right back here. And it's easy to just pop this out and store it in here. Now you can option these with a little refrigerator in there. It's like a dorm size fridge. I prefer this to be all open myself because this, this is the, the storage compartment that's gonna get used all the time. We're underneath the awning, we're on the fun side. This is where the campfire, the picnic table, the card games, all the shenanigans are happening over here. You're gonna be reaching in there all the time for different things. So I love that that's there. So if we have cable attachment on the other side, we have it over here now. So now I can put my TV, I've got power here, and tune in the, uh, the football game or whatever the movie is right here. Very nice. Also, I'd, I'd probably put a table here, have a coffee maker out here, maybe a margarator. Uh, it's nice to have that there. Goodyear tires, so Goodyear tires all the way around, American made with a six year warranty. A lot of manufacturers, the first thing you want to do when you buy the brand new trailers, throw the junk tires away and buy real tires. Jayco's giving you a Goodyear tire right off the bat. I appreciate that. Those are the speakers that I was telling you about on the outside wall that are connected to the stereo. So I can push music from my phone through those speakers. LED light strip on this awning. And then this awning is what they call pull down to pitch. So. Real easy, if uh, let's say the sun is going down over there and I want a little bit of shade, I don't know if I have room to do this here, but I can pull this down to pitch like so. Real easy, pop it back up. You don't have to remember that when you roll it back in, it's going to straighten itself out. You can do that on either side, or maybe it's sprinkling out a little bit the water's dripping on your picnic table, you can tilt it down on the other side. So real handy to do. Hey, we're in a 2024 264. I really like the changes that Jayco's done and they take to heart comments that you guys make in person and on these videos. I know that for a fact, the Jayco guys have told me before that they watch these videos and they pay attention when people say, hey, where's the medicine cabinet? or things like that. So if you do have comments, drop them below. I'll do my best to get to those questions and comments. My name is Mike. I'm here at part of the VRV family of companies here at Vaught RV in Fort Worth, Texas. I appreciate you joining me. While you're down there, I'd appreciate it if you click like and subscribe. That way you'll be the first to know when we post more videos like this. Until next time, I'll see you. Enjoy the great outdoors and we'll see you then.